Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and um, in this video I'm going to show with you this whole huge pile of journals and ephemera holders that I have here on my desk and I've been working on these for the past few weeks I think maybe a couple of months and they are finally all done and I will have them all in my Etsy shop so there will be I think 11 books going to my Etsy shop most probably next next Saturday but definitely check the description box for the the exact date and time where these are going to be listed so first I'm showing you a couple of journals uh, you may remember this cover we made it together in a video and I will link it for you in the description and also in the cards uh, so that you can check it out but it's my regular size of journal so this is a 5 size which um, which measures about eight and a quarter inches tall and about five and three quarter inches um, wide it has if I remember correctly five signatures I've made these two a while ago and um, so they are hardcover, hand painted um, and uh, they have charms on the spine which is what I usually add. They are charms and beads and stuff like that and um, the closure is organza ribbons and so as you can see here uh, they are going to be an eclectic mix of papers that I love, so patent papers, digital kit pages, book pages, vintage notebook pages, antique music pages, everything that I love and they are quite similar to what I would do in my own personal journal in the sense that if you've seen any journal with me or my personal journal flip through then you know that I just I have a mix of different pages textures and sizes and <laughs> types of papers in my own journal and so this is um, what I have here as well we have uh, I did add a few envelopes and a few pockets to this journal but they are empty so they are ready for you to fill with your own um, memories and ephemera and your thoughts and there is a lot of journaling space and just in case you guys uh, look at these pages especially you know those beautiful digital kit pages or patent papers and you don't know how you can use it uh, use them I just uploaded a video on Friday uh, on my tips uh, for using those beautiful pages in your journals without covering them up completely so you can check this out um, and I will have it link for you, linked for you as well. So really an assortment of just gorgeous pages. This envelope we made together in a recent video as well. Uh, this is a page from Calico Collage. And by the way guys, if it looks like in the video I'm gesturing and talking to someone, it's because I was. <laughs> I, I recorded this video last night and it was a chatty one and uh, it took me quite a while and when I sat um, to edit it I realized I plugged in my mic with a wrong wire uh, it comes with two wires and I obviously chose the the wrong one because there was no sound whatsoever so I am uh, it's it's now the next uh, morning and I am uh, adding a voiceover to this video because obviously I mean I, I, I just did not want to you know waste this footage um, and it, it did take me quite a lot of time to flip through all of these because there are a lot of books and I just want to share them with you because I enjoyed making them so much so yes so just please ignore my strange gestures in the video and um, if you if it seems like I'm talking to someone it you know why now <laughs> there are vellum pages as well uh, there are notebook like vintage vintage notebook pages very old and very beautifully um, colored 
and so both of these journals will be listed in my Etsy shop and I will call them pansies 1 and pansies 2 for the lack or of uh, my more original name I guess um, but so that you can differentiate between them so pansies 1 we've just seen and here is pansies 2 the end pages in both of these journals come from my pastel blossoms digital kit that you guys can find in my Etsy shop and you can um, buy it and download it and print it and uh, the second journal is basically the same thing as the first one just the same types of papers and a bit different patterns maybe obviously different book pages but the exact same number of pages and the exact same types of papers so we have uh, like I mentioned very old uh, music pages we have digital kits printed on vellum this is a triple pocket that you've just seen all the book pages that you see are vintage uh, or antique so this is a pocket that we made together um, I sped this video up a little bit um, after I realized that it had no sound because um, I honestly it was a chatty and a longish one but because uh, I lost the footage and I filmed it late in the evening last night and I don't really remember what I was talking about but uh, I thought you guys would just I don't know enjoy me flipping through those pages and maybe chatting a little bit so we have some bird book pages beautiful patent papers I used some of my favorite patent papers in in these journals and um, I will try to link all the digitals that I used in these journals below for you so you can check the shops out and this is Artemis uh, printed on vellum just stunning I love using vellum pages in my own journals so now we have those three and you guys could briefly see them in my design team project for Victoria designs this is using their celestial kit so these are three mini journals um, they are four by six inches so 10 by 15 centimeters and they are just the cutest size and they lay so well in your hands i mean i just love holding them <laughs> and i think they are such a great size to just have at your bedside maybe note your dreams and hopes or gratitudes your prayers um, they are all hardcover hand painted there are a lot of different mediums and layers that went into these covers all of them have windows so the part on the front is raised and then in those windows there are images and also everything has been just uh, varnished so you know it's it's safe nothing should be uh, peeling out of the cover and um, the images in the in the windows are also protected so there is a sort there is a again an assortment of papers and again you will see the same types of pages and the same number of pages in all of these three journals but let me just quickly show you you know show you one so we have vintage astronomy book pages tea stained and coffee stained papers we have digital kits it's mostly um, Victoria designs they are a beautiful celestial kit there are a lot of uh, fabrics on the sides so uh, most of these are vintage or antique laces and Indian fabrics and I've just sewn them on the edges to decorate the journal but basically there are is oh this is a vintage atlas page there are there is so much space for you to journal in these books and um, really make them your own really uh, kind of just go with them wherever you are wherever you want and I feel like the celestial theme is such a beautiful magical theme that it really it resonates with me you know with the idea of um, making it your dream journal maybe your goals uh, we will be entering the new year soon so uh, a goals journal or plans or or just daily gratitudes writing down every night or every morning what you are thankful for and uh, just beautiful 
way to document these things so here is the second one again the race part in the uh, and the window on the front they all have four signatures that have been stitched in and there is a lot of texture in these covers and again they lay so well in your hands i really like them so uh, the closures are again organza ribbons and there is the same assortment of paper so i'm just flicking through these two very quickly there is parchment papers different notebook pages oh there is some fabric dyed paper um, so really an eclectic mix but i do feel all of them go together very well and um yeah i hope you guys will like them So now for the ephemera holders and I'm so excited about this because I loved making them. I love using them for my own ephemera. So I have six books. All of them are hardcover, fabric covered and um, they measure about 10 and a quarter inches tall. So they are quite big and six and a half inches wide and they have they all have almost a three inch spine uh, and four signature and total of 16 pages um, with pockets and also some additional pockets on the front and an envelope uh, on the back and these really are a romance between Tim Holtz and Edith Holden that's what I feel one of them does not have Tim Holtz papers in it but the remaining five they are uh, they are Tim Holtz uh, and Edith Holden and I just think they they work together so well. Well, so I think this is the one that does not have Tim Holtz in it, but it definitely has beautiful, beautiful florals. This is from my favorite paper pad and also beautiful Edith Holden pages. I have used uh, a whole copy of Edith Holden book uh, to make these. You can see they all have two, all of the pages have two pockets. Uh, they are made out of vellum and all of the pages front and back have been sewn around. The pockets uh, or the envelopes on the back are all closed with some ephemera pieces. So you can just slide the flap uh, down and it will stay closed. Um, and what else? So the pockets are made out of vellum and um, I use vellum pockets in my own ephemera holders. I haven't had any issues with them whatsoever and you guys could see on some of my videos videos uh, that I pack my pockets quite full with labels. Oh, look at these colors, guys. I just love Edith Holden and Tim Holtz together. I mean, they work. Oh, they work so well together. Beautiful flowers, beautiful illustrations, and even the pages with just uh, text, you know, from Edith Holden books, they look beautiful because she just has the most beautiful uh, most beautiful handwriting in her books so uh, all of them have uh, also have um, metal corners to protect your corners and uh, yeah like I was saying just be a little bit careful with vellum pockets uh, because obviously vellum is paper so it can tear but uh, it did not tear for me at all and I use my ephemera holders a lot <laughs> and um, the pages have tabs on them so uh, the tabs are also made from Edith Holden book pages and they just make it 
easier and more pleasant I think to to flip through the pages look at this oh I love this it was so much fun making these and mixing and matching Tim Holtz and Edith Holden and beautiful patent papers with beautiful book pages together it was just so much fun so yes so again check the description box for the exact time and date when these are going to go to my Etsy shop it will probably be uh, the next Saturday day and I hope you guys liked them I I know I it it took me a long time to make them uh, to complete them but it was definitely worth it I loved every step of the process and I hope you will love uh, the end result so thank you so much for watching today guys and uh, yeah I will talk to you very soon in my next video bye